it's glue book saturday it's time to glue our cares away welcome back friends it's the half-ass crafter i'm laura the half-ass crafter it's glue book saturday so we're gonna do some glue book saturday glue booking is it half-ass i don't know you can figure it out doesn't matter no big deal uh so what i did is i've already gone through and put some pages together and i've got them marked here with some different pieces of paper that i just found on my desk uh but i can't i did this days ago and i sort of remember a couple of them but not very well so it's kind of like we're going to be doing this for the first time um together it'll be fine it's fine it's fine how is everyone how was your week i hope your week went well i hope that you uh maybe weren't too hot. I know there's been like a heat wave everywhere and it's been kind of like ridiculous. Uh, we're still in a heat wave. It broke for a couple of days and we were under 100 degrees Fahrenheit as high as a high. Uh, but of course now we are going to be right back into the hundreds this weekend. So whatever. Uh, okay. So for this one, all right, I think I remember what I was doing here. It's, it's very silly. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna use, let's set that off to the side. Okay, uh, so I a lot of these are, we did the harvest of the old magazine, and then we had a live, remember the live? Did you come to the live? Did you watch the replay of the live? Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Carrie from The Paper Monkey made the best paper doll. Even my husband was like, that paper doll was awesome. So. It was a very good, uh, very good paper doll. So what I have here is, yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, so this was a butler, but then I put him here and it looks like he's going to get some little snacks, like there's a party happening. And uh, this lady here is like, WTF is happening in my apartment because there's a massive dog and a strawberry. Why are they there? I don't know. Then there's also this like creepy caker pillar made out of plates and a creepy cake. I don't know. I don't know. I don't make the rules, y'all. I just I just show up and uh it happens and I don't I mean, what are, what are you supposed to do about it, you know? Like you nothing. There's nothing to do. Should have cleaned up my desk before I turned on the camera. But, you know, it is the half-ass crafter, not the whole-ass crafter. So, you know, you get what you pay for, right? Right. So, okay, here we go. I think, I, I think I'm actually ready. I think we can do this now. I was going to glue something, this strawberry. That's what I was going to glue. Here we go. How was your week? Hopefully you stayed cool or warm because I know I do have folks in uh, Australia and... It's like the middle of winter down there. So, you know, either way, I hope that your week was good. Um, I put out a little video this week of uh, my little giveaway win from Teensy Vintage. If you didn't check out that video, that's okay. I know that some people don't like those videos. Um, we don't have to like everything, turns out. But I would, I would highly suggest that you go check out Teensy Vintage channel uh, because I do think that y'all will probably like it. I would be surprised if you didn't. But, you know, hey, to each their own. Okay, we're gonna put this little head like right there. I don't, I don't know where the, the caker pillar came from. It just happened, okay? And, um, you know, I just kinda, I don't really fight things that much anymore. Like when they happen, I just let them. And I'm like, cool, cool, there's a caker pillar on this page. I don't understand why, you know? Here's what's gonna happen. I'll die and then my kids will be like, what does it mean? And then they will try to come up with their own meaning behind all of it, thinking that I was like trying to be deep or something and you know, it's fine. It's fine. 
fine. It's fine. So I, uh, I had a pretty eventful week. I, um, well, we took all three horses on a trail ride this week. I didn't get any video because it was kind of nerve wracking. Um, my trainer came out and he rode Leon for us and my husband rode his horse and I rode Ruby and my husband's horse is Bitsy. She's the black one. I think y'all have seen her. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a little picture of, of old Bitsy up here. Um, and then we went out and my husband is now a daredevil and loves to go fast because Bitsy is a very smooth horse. And so there was at one point where he just like took off and left us in the dust. And when you have a herd of horses, if one takes off and leaves the others, the others get like, I mean, they really get a little crazy in the head because they think that they're going to be left behind forever and never see their herd mate ever again, which of course isn't true, uh, but they don't know that. So I don't know why this is wanting to like do weird things on me. Just lay down. There we go. All right, and then this guy is gonna go there. So, uh, so that was, that was the most excitement that happened, um, is that my husband and Bitsy took off and then Ruby was like, oh no, and then Leon's behind me going, oh my gosh, the world is ending, the herd's breaking up. None of that was real or true, but you know, they didn't know that. So, but we got all back safe and sound. Everything's fine. I think everyone enjoyed themselves. I know my husband and I were talking about it the rest of the evening about how much fun it was and how we really enjoyed the, um, the ride. And we did it in the evening, so it wasn't very hot, which was really nice. So, okay, she has to be in a very certain spot just like right there and I know she's kind of a little crooked or sideways or whatever but that is the way the cookie crumbles and I don't know what I was going to do with this owl oh I think I was going to put the owl on the couch yes because I had something on the couch I remember that now okay so uh it looks like, well, I'll know more in a couple of weeks, but it looks like my, uh, <laughs> I have no idea what's happening in this page, but boy, do I really like it. Uh, my work life is going to settle down, so hopefully that means more fun for us uh, here on the YouTube channel. That's a artist trading card that I'm in the, the middle of making. Um, so that'll be fun. That means that there'll be more videos coming. So stay tuned for that. What else happened this week? Um, well, we got Leon back last week. So I was able to ride him by myself a little bit this week. We didn't go out on the trail, but we rode around the property, which I mean, is not as fun. It's, you know, it is a little boring. You're just doing circles and going over there and you're just doing the same thing over and over. But, you know, if you like riding horses, it's fun. So, you know, and I love riding horses. So, All right, so this little guy, oh my gosh, I just love this. He's coming in the window. He's like, out of the way, flamingo. The flamingo's looking. Everybody's looking because there's going to be a giant cupcake. It's going to be fun. Uh, I, It's so funny. I've actually started watching a lot of horse channels on YouTube. Um, I think I'm, I just clearly, this is the summer of horse for me. And I am very much in, I 
think that needs to be, hang on. Yeah, it's gotta be down there. Uh, I'm very much in like this horse state of mind and um, okay and so I've just been watching a ton of channels that are all about horses um, I am still watching the crafting channels but I kind of got a little obsessed with the horse channels and haven't been watching as many craft videos so probably we'll get back into that because y'all know I like my crafting videos. Y'all know that's why I'm here talking to you on my own channel right now. Okay, can y'all tell what's going on here? So I got this, got this massive, hang on, I got it, wait, ugh, very sticky. I got this massive cupcake and I got this flamingo that's like, ooh, cupcake. And then I got this raccoon that's like, out of the way, flamingo, out of the way. And then this dog is like, oh, if I weren't such a good boy, I would eat that cupcake. Too bad I'm a good boy. I guess it's a boy. I don't know. They've got the, they've got the dog's paws placed in a very helpful spot. Uh-oh. Man, some of these glue sticks just like stick to the paper and it's really hard to not tear the paper. And that's so frustrating. All right, so what's happening is these ladies are just having a little visit, a little goss, a little gossip session. And they've made this giant cupcake that they're gonna eat in a minute. And the dog is like, oh, too bad, I'm a good boy. And the flamingo is like, hmm, I wonder if I could have that. And the raccoon's going, good thing I'm not a good boy. And uh, yeah, so that's what's happening. All right, this one, this one we're actually, I'm going to skip for right now. I'll come back to that one because that one, I'm not sure what to do. This is my blub blub page, which everybody seemed to really love. I thought that was a good one too. Okay, this one is great. I forgot about this one. Oh my gosh, y'all, 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 y'all. Okay, all right, so, okay. First off, I y'all, I made this lady on the live, um, and I cut out these pancakes. It was on a plate from one of the vintage magazines, but then I realized it's the same size as her hat, and her hat was cut off. So I want to make the pancakes the top of her hat, and it needs to go about there. So I'm going to use a little bit of art glitter glue to glue the pancakes to her hat, however they need to be. So she's gonna stand there. That's where they need to be, okay. Oh no. Okay, hang on. Like that. That was a lot of glue. I, did I fill that thing up? Why did it come out so fast? Who knows what I did with anything. Okay, I am gonna use our glitter glue on this because A, she has a lot of like small arms and stuff and she needs to go in a very super particular spot. I can't accidentally put her somewhere else. So I'm going to make sure I don't know, maybe the art glitter glue is a bad idea because you can't really move the art glitter glue much. I've seen some folks are starting to do uh, paper dolls again, like some channels that I started watching because I know that they did paper dolls. Um, Debbie over at My Vagabond Style, Life Style, uh, she, yes, she started doing them and I'm very excited about that. And then she mentioned she and I doing a live together where we make paper dolls. And I was like, ah, uh, yeah. So hopefully we can do that. Okay. So there's the pancake lady with her pancake hat. And she's going to be looking at the calendar. And we don't know why she's looking at the calendar. I feel like I did have a reason when I put all this together and the calendar made me giggle. So maybe I will think about it 
Oh, I didn't even glue this page down. Oh, that's because I don't have, do I? Oh, I might have some tape runner left in here to do that. Well, let's glue all this on the page and then we can glue the page down. Okay, and then that and this. So I may be doing a live with Debbie, which should be totes fun, super exciting. All right, and then I'm over here gluing. Can you see? Not really. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, there's nothing to see. I'm running glue on the back of pieces of paper. It's actually kind of boring. There we go. This felt like a tunnel, you know what I mean? And there's like a little house there. And there's gonna be a little castle on this side of it. So, and then I think I'm gonna try to do a live with Melissa from Messy Messy Creates. Um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna do any of these because I have to figure out how much time I have. Also, it's horse riding season. So that is something to be aware of. That always takes precedence because you don't get a whole lot of horse riding season out here. Oh no, 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 no. You can't, can't do that. Go, there we go. There we go. And the only thing is, it's so dry here that these glue sticks dry out so fast that I like really have to work super fast. Okay, so this guy is like, Madam, I have your spaghettios. I don't actually know what he has. I think it's like Lando Lakes butter tubs or something. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know what this is. Um, oops. And uh, and then this guy is like, hey, sweet, dinner's here. And uh, yeah, and he's gonna go there. And she's just looking at the calendar because she needs to eat her pancake hat. So she's hoping it's pancake day. I don't know. I have no idea. I cannot remember the story that I made up. I do know when I originally made it up and put all of these pieces together, it truly made me giggle. I know she was the wife. He's the husband floating in the pool. Oops. He's got to come up a little. Meowzas. All right, there we go. Okay. Like that. There we go. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to put this little table over here because they're supposed to eat dinner, but she really doesn't want to eat the stuff that the butler is bringing her. She wants to eat something else. There we go. Ta-da. She's in her jammies too, which I think is great. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Let's run some tape on it. This is my last tape runner. I'm probably gonna run out. So let's see if I can get at least the edges. All right. Ooh, that was a close call. Here we go. There we go. All right, sweet. I didn't get that corner very well. So we'll do that. There we go. Cute. All right. And then I have other, I have an idea for this one. This is one of Sarah's mom's pages that Sarah sent me and I do have an idea for it, but I, oh no, did I take out? No, I didn't. It's back here. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, so this one I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. 
Uh, I was thinking about putting this up there, which I actually do like. So let me just do that. We're just going to put it together like it was in my brain and uh, see what happens. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. The world may never know. There we go. I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a UFO coming in for landing. And then I thought about putting this little wreath on top of the bee. I know, I know. Y'all are like, but the bee is so cute. So maybe I put the wreath there for some reason. Or maybe I put the wreath there for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Let's put the wreath off to the side. That's another, that's another ATC I made. I'm not sure if you've seen that. Um, okay, and then I had this cake that I was wanting to put there. And then I have this lady in her jammies. And I thought she could be like sleepwalking to get a little midnight snack but she's like on the phone making you know maybe she's doing like an ambient phone call you know y'all remember when Ambien first came out like people would take it and then they would like call you at 3 a.m just me okay never mind uh no i i had friends who were on Ambien. i wasn't on Ambien, uh and they were like oh my gosh i make like weird Amazon purchases. Oh, look, we could even like put a little crackle bar down there. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm running out of glue sticks. I'm going to have to get a, go get a new glue stick, I think. I didn't realize they were all so low. There we go. Just like that. And this little guy goes over here. I'm really hoping to get at least one art journaling video out next week at some point. I'm not sure when. I, um, I have so many ideas, but I just don't have like the time or the brain space to really want to sit down and be creative. It's very interesting how when you're using your brain for other things, like being creative is just last. It's just last on your list, you know? It's just last. And it's hard. It's hard for your brain to, uh, to think about things. I am going to cut the white Parts. I'm going to fussy cut around her feet, so I'm not going to do a great job. I'm just going to do it enough so that you don't see the white. And I'm sure that if you look close enough, you would be like, I uh, cut her feet all weird. It's okay. Literally, no one cares. The Smithsonian is not coming for my art books. It's fine. They're not going to tell my children, well, we were going to pay you 60 bazillion dollars for her art books, but unfortunately, her fussy cutting leaves a lot to be desired. So never mind. You lose. Not happening. None of that is going to happen. So I'm just going to fussy cut things so that they're easy for me and not worry about it. Okay, so it's like she's going to be sleepwalking over to the cake. Cake's going to be right there. Let me, well, maybe I can use this glue stick. Let's see. Let's find out, shall we? Um, no, I can't. All right. I have a lot of glue sticks and a lot of tops. And nothing is really working. Nothing wants to be put back together. Okay. New glue stick time. Ah, fresh glue stick. Here we go. How amazing. Do you like a good fresh glue stick? So has there been any news while I've been, I haven't really been missing from YouTube. I just 
have been a little preoccupied, I guess. I think that goes right there. All right, just like that, and like that. I must have missed some right here. It's fine. Here we go. And then I want to glue her, but I want her to like be holding the phone. So let's go ahead and glue her. She came out of the Simplicity catalog. I cut her out uh, during the live. I realized that the Simplicity catalog has a lot of bodies that are like the perfect size for these rooms. She says, as the lady is super tiny in this very large room and I'm about to give her a very large phone, which is actually like oversized for the room and for her, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But that's okay, we're not trying to make sense. What if I put that over there? Yep, that's it. See how that just works? I don't know how it works either. So I have been playing around with some wet media stuff lately. I'm hoping to um, figure out the best way to show that to y'all. I don't want to show it to you and do it like, I don't want to say wrong, but I don't want to show you a way that isn't successful. I want, if I show y'all stuff, I really want to show you the way, you know, to be successful at least. I know sometimes I try and then it ends up being a what not to do video, uh, but what I really want to do is, is show y'all ways to do things so that you can be successful too. And I've been playing around with these uh, Lindy's Magical Shakers. I talked about them on my live and uh, they're really, really difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I think I'm starting to understand how best to use them because I think you really have to figure out the best way to use them. Like they just have a way to be used. Um, so I think I figured it out, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see if I have or not. So there's our lady who's sleepwalking. Um, she's in a, an ambient snack dream. Ta-da. See? I don't know. I don't know what's going on either. And then, what else did we have? Where's the other lady? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the weird party. I don't even know what, she doesn't know what's going on either. She's like, what's going on at this party? What is happening right now? She doesn't even know. We should draw little legs on this, uh, on this little uh, caterpillar. Where's my, uh, this one take my little Tosca pen here. I'm going to open this back and I'm just going to draw boop, 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 boop. There we go. Maybe I should give him some more legs, huh? There we go. Now it's a caterpillar with many legs. It's a caker pillar. I could give the caker pillar some antennae. And then I could outline it. I'll wait till this dries and then I'll outline it in black. So that way you can tell that it's one, one cohesive caker pillar. All right. That was Glue Book Saturday. Uh, I hope to be able to make more videos for y'all and have uh, a bit of news for you soon. I'm hoping to make a doll art journal video uh, for this next week. If I get around to it, that'd be great. If I don't, just know that I am still wanting to make one. So don't worry, I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. It just, you know, is summer and summer's busy. And a lot of my favorite YouTube channels are even uh, not putting out as much content because 
because it's summer and we all have lives and we're going to go do stuff and this is fun. And I'm so glad that I got to visit with you all and I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and I'm trying to find the other pages that we did. Um, but all I'm finding are old pages. Oh yeah, I got all that to do. I got that I'm still working on. Oh, here we go. I love this lady. She's my favorite. Isn't she great? Ah, so good. All right, y'all. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for joining me and visiting for a minute. Bye.